Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm a developer here at Zanata Consulting. Today, we'll be exploring one of Zoho Creator's most powerful features, scheduled workflows. Scheduled workflows are especially useful when you want to automate some of your business processes based off dates and times. For this tutorial, I've actually created a demo inventory tracking application. Some of the examples that we'll be using include weekly inventory reporting to managers, daily checks for low stock, and automated ordering directly to suppliers. And lastly, seasonal discontinuation of items that are stored in our application. Let's dive in. All right, so here we have our very basic inventory tracking application. I have an inventory form that keeps track of the item name all the way through the season end date. We do have category here. And for this example, we're basically just using things like clothing and accessories. If we scroll down, we have a status, and this is actually a formula field. The status indicates whether something is in stock, has a low stock, or is out of stock. We have a lookup field to our supplier form here, which includes the company name, and the supplier form also contains a lookup field to our contact information form here, which would be our order contact. Any preferred order days for the supplier. This is useful when some companies order certain items, uh, some things might be perishable or sensitive, especially things like maybe any live animals. You would want to order, only be able to order them at the beginning of the week. So that's that's the reason for the preferred order days. I'm sure there's other use cases where that might be pretty handy. The date of order, an expected delivery date, quantity in stock, reorder level, and reorder quantity. So just to kind of show you what we have here. In here, we have our items and we could see the status. They're in stock, the categories, all of this information is here. Quantity in stock, our reorder level, and our reorder quantity. We have our supplier, date of order, and expected delivery date. So this is especially useful, and we'll jump into an example for a scheduled workflow that will send out weekly inventory reporting emails to managers. It will essentially email them this report. The next form we have here is an item form, and this is what all of our inventory tracking information is based off of. So in here we have item, which is a lookup field, and we could actually probably call this item name. Just update that. Item name. Here we have our item form, and this includes a lookup field called item name, which is referencing our item form. It references some of the items that we have listed in our inventory tracking form. So we click add new, we could add these details here and begin adding multiple items based off that one lookup. Then we have our SKU, our size, and the status. And this is anything from available to returned. So let's check out the scheduled workflows. In here, under workflow, we have this section called schedules and we'll select create workflow. For scheduled workflows, you can run them at a specified date and time. For our first example, we will be doing a weekly inventory report to our managers, let's say at 8 a.m. So we will start this on Monday. So every Monday, weekly, we're going to do a weekly inventory or to managers. So once you click add new action, you have all of these options here. And for this example, we'll just notify them through email. You could use data access to add or update records in another form, or you could use a Deleuze script to run certain scripts. For this example, we'll be using an email. 
we will use a, let's say, test manager at fakemail.com. And we will call this weekly inventory report. In here, you could add certain fields from the Zoho variables. And if this is based off a certain form, then you could select the, the form fields that are being inserted in here as well. So we're just going to keep it very basic. We're going to say, please see the attached weekly inventory report. And down here, we could actually choose the report and we'll select inventories. And you could select the file type. In this case, we'll just select CSV. So they could download that CSV and upload it somewhere if they need to, or just view it if they need to. So then we'll click save. That is our weekly inventory report to managers. So it's very easy to get set up with this. Now, if we look at schedules, we have our workflow that we just created here. From here, we could actually enable or disable this. Again, this will start on January 29th, with, which is a Monday at 8 a.m., and it will run weekly. For our next example, we'll be performing a daily check for low stock. All right, so we're gonna create another workflow, and we're gonna have this run tomorrow at 12 a.m. This is going to run daily and this is going to be a daily check for low or out of stock inventory. In here we'll actually be using a deluge script. What we want to do is check for our low stock inventory items equals inventory where the status is low stock or the status is equal to out of stock. So if you remember from the beginning in our inventory form, I have a formula field and that formula field is checking the available items against the uh, reorder levels. So then we'll say for each low stock inventory item in low stock inventory items, we want to update this inventory item that indicates whether it's low stock or out of stock. We want to update the low stock inventory item dot date of order to be the current date. We're also going to clear out the expected delivery date. We'll be creating a separate workflow called automated supplier ordering. And what that will do is it will use this current date here, the date of order. And at 8 a.m., so this runs at 12 a.m., and that at 8 a.m. we have a separate workflow that will kind of request updated inventory items. So we go, we'll save this. All right, so we'll move on to our next workflow. And this will actually run on the inventory form and the date of order. We're going to run it on the date above. And because this is just a date field, it's asking us to uh, specify a specific date. So we'll say at 8 a.m. We're going to repeat this once. And we're going to say sin supplier reorder email. Just to be sure on condition that the status is not equal to in stock. So anything that is low stock or out of stock will still kind of continue to flow through here, which is what we want. Then in here, we're going to create a dilute script. 
So we will look up the supplier information. So our supplier contact, actually we'll look up the contact, which is our contact form where the ID is equal to the input of the supplier dot order contact. So in our supplier form, we have a single line company name field, and then we have a lookup that is referencing this contact form. So we'll save this, and then here we'll say supplier contact email is equal to supplier contact dot email. In here, we'll add another script. So we'll add the send mail, send mail script. We'll say, for this example, we'll just use Zoho.admin user ID to the supplier contact email. And then we're going to say reorder request or, and then we're going to pull in the item name so the item name is on this inventory form. We would like to request an invoice for our input dot reorder quantity for the item. Input dot item name. We'll remove attachments. So we would like to request an invoice for the reorder quantity specified on our inventory form for the item and then the item name. This is obviously a very basic example. You can add HTML. Instead of sending an email, you could even possibly have a script that goes and makes an API call and reorders that specific quantity for you automatically. If you did that, you would be able to probably return something like the expected delivery date. This is how we send a supplier reorder email. And we'll click update. We are missing something here. Okay, so now we have our send supplier reorder email in place. All right, so so far we have our weekly inventory report to managers, our daily check for low or out of stock inventory, and then our send supplier reorder email based off our date of order field in our inventory form. So this stuff is pretty much all automated. The last thing I want to go over is discontinuing any items that are stored in our database that have a season end date. And we'll run this on the inventory. We'll call this season end date. We want to check it on the date above. And we'll say at 12 a.m. Actually, we'll say after one day after at 12 a.m. So we have our season end date, let's say January 31st. Then on February 1st at 12 a.m., we want to discontinue all of our inventory items. So we're going to say discontinue seasonal inventory items. We're going to put this on a condition where the season end date is not null. All right, so for this example, we're going to add a deluge script. We're gonna call this end of season inventory items equals the inventory form where the season end date is equal to the current date we're going to want to pull in the IDs and we're gonna put these in a list. So dot get all. And for our end of season 
items. Oops. We're going to want to pull in all of the items that have a status equal to available. And the item name is in our list that we've created here, a list of IDs, end of season items. Next, we'll update all of these end of season items. So for each end of season item in end of season items, we're going to update the end of season item, the status to discontinued. And that's our final workflow for these examples. Pretty much what we're doing here, we're just checking all of the seasonal end items that are still listed as available and we're discontinuing them at this point. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial on Zoho Creator's scheduled workflows. I hope you found this information valuable and that you're able to use it to start streamlining some of your business processes. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more helpful tutorials. Until next time, stay productive, keep innovating.